Where is Idaho and what is Idaho all about? Let's find out next. Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, and I'm excited to give you a real Idaho education. If you want to live your best life in the new state you're moving to, you might want to learn a little bit more about what customs there are that will make up your new normal. And if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you the correct way to pronounce this word. Let's start with the big one, football. Yes, the Boise State Broncos are a big deal here. You'll see merch for the big blue everywhere around here. And there are even local stores dedicated to the Broncos throughout the valley. You'll know you've made it to Idaho when you see all the blue and orange BSU gear everywhere you turn. And if football isn't your thing, we have tons of other sports to keep you occupied as well. Food. Have you heard of fry sauce? Well, you have now, and you should definitely try it out when you get up here. Not only do we have awesome fries, but the perfect sauce to dip them in. And I'll tell you the secret recipe though, it's ketchup and mayo. Who knew? Just mix them together and there you have it. This isn't our only food innovation. We also have finger steaks if you're feeling adventurous. Okay, those are pretty simple. Just picture chicken tenders, but replace the chicken with steak. Delicious, right? Yeah, I think so. What will go perfect with this meal? A nice beer. Do we have plenty of awesome local breweries and wineries to choose from? Yes, but I wanted to tell you about our liquor laws. Bars close at 2 a.m. so you won't be able to stay out all night partying. And you can only buy alcohol until 1 a.m. in Idaho. And when you go to the grocery store, don't be surprised when you don't find any liquor. You can only get beer and wine at the store, but you'll have to check out the state-run liquor stores for the harder stuff, so plan ahead. Contrary to popular beliefs, Idaho is not Iowa or Ohio, and it's not in the Midwest. I like to think of Idaho as the south of the Pacific Northwest, though because we certainly do have plenty of culture and high-class events, we also have plenty of cowboys, boots and all. Did you know that Idaho has been coined the gym state, not the potato state? Although we do have our annual potato drop on New Year's Eve, and we do have potato themed stores and Boise Fry Company dedicated to delicious potatoes, but no, we do have other things too. Well, I think one of the first things you'll notice about Idaho is how genuinely nice the people are. Don't be surprised by strangers saying oh, howdy or asking about how your day is. And you'll also see plenty of people holding doors open for strangers as well. Even though you've probably heard that, you know, Californians aren't welcome, that's just not true. And you're not alone. There are so many of us transplants up here making that same life that you're looking forward to creating for yourself. Something you may have to get used to is driving. And we do have some crazy drivers, probably California transplants as well. So be prepared whenever we get a little rain or snow on the road for things to get a little hinky as people adjust. You'll see a lot of roundabouts in the valley and unprotected left turns at the traffic signals, which may be different from where you live. Idaho has some funny words like Kuna, pronounced Kuna, Moscow, Owyhee County and River, Weezer, Buell, Nez Perce, Kootenai, Kootenai, Coeur d'Alene, Sky, Kuski, Cam, I, A, Cam, uh, I, Cam, E, I, and of course, Boy C, not Boy Z. And now you know everything you need to blend in as an Idahoan. I'm sure I'm missing something important, but this will surely give you a head start, as you can gather. Traditions and customs vary from state to state, so research the values and habits that could take practice to get used to. Maybe you'll become aware of a distinct tipping etiquette in the area or certain places where it's polite to answer a phone call. Discover the traditions that set this place apart and what makes it the perfect place for you. So if you found this information helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the rest of the videos in this relocation series. And until next time, this is Treasure Valley Dave, helping you get home.